What is up with the guys? I do welcome to my channel. It's your boy, and I'm back again. Hopefully, you guys are doing well and you're healthy, guys. If you're new, make sure you guys subscribe and also like this video as well. So let's get to it, guys. I've just done the white Air Force Ones with ambush, and those shoes are beautiful. And bam, as you guys can see, you've got the black ones this time around. These are beautiful as well, and I think they change perception on buying black Air Force Ones. I've not been a fan of buying the black Air Force Ones just because. You know, they're not as nice as the white ones. And guys, with this one, I think she's done a good job by putting the white tick as well on the side as well. That looks nice. That looks beautiful. I like it. And I think the only thing I think which I would suggest that she should have done. Now, I know she, you know, ambush does things to a minimum T. Is if you look at the, um, the black piece on the back there, which says ambush, which I'll show you guys. Let's just scroll all the way there i think i'd prefer the ambush piece there to be white as well but then again i guess it takes away from the tick so i think where the tick is it was the main point even if you look at the white shoe as well the tick is in black as well and that's the only part which is black the rest is just white so i guess she's bringing i think attention to that nike branding there which is a good thing it's a good marketing scheme and i applaud her for that so the shoes got some braces which are white on the front there and the laces are black as well. Now I did say with the white shoe that change the laces from white to black and I think with this one as well change the laces from black because already the tongue is black on the background. So if you just put some white laces there that kind of changes the shoe. It just kind of gives it a bit of a different angle so I like that. So the difference between a normal Air Force One is the leather is just just, I think, a little bit more premium. It looks better, it feels better, and I can't wait to touch it. So I think with this one, I'm not gonna buy this color. I'm just gonna stick to buying the white one because I wanna look fresh this summertime as well. This one, I think, if they gave it to me for free, I mean, Nike, you can hit me up if you wanna give me this shoe for free. I prefer this for winter time. I think it's nice in winter when I wear all black from head to toe, you know, and this is the shoes on my toes. My 10 toes, you know, 10 toes on the ground. So the leather is just like a bit, you know, it's got a bit of a nice shine to it. It's premium. These are, I think, going to be 150 to 160. Now, in terms of resale price, I don't think these will resell and make some money because the demand is not really there. They were meant to make some Chicago ones, but those are not coming out. Maybe they might come out at some point this year. I think those will definitely resell and make some money. I love how the tick is elongated on either side. It's just generally a beautiful shoe. And also, like, um, the braces there, they say Air Force One as well, AF1. That's a nice little touch as well. Just, you know, looking at all these different touches. And even looking at that real image as well, which gives a much better understanding of the shoe. It, it looks nice. I like it. It looks dope. So, guys, I'm going to end the video here. That's the braces there. So, one says ambush. Then the other says Air Force One. So I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless you. I love you guys. I wanted to just thank you guys for watching my videos, for supporting me. Make sure you guys also watch my car videos as well because I'm going to be getting these cars for free in the future. And if you're one of my subscribers based in the UK, I can come and pick you up and we can spend the day together. Peace out, guys. Much love. God bless you.